All right, everyone. I'm just going to do a quick look at an external uh, USB 2.0 drive from Seagate, branded as the Free Agent. Um, I picked it up on special at CompUSA for 130 bucks, no rebate. So instant savings, 130 bucks. But I'm going to return it. Uh, there are some design features that really don't work with me, so it's going to go back to the store. Um, but this is just a brief look in case anyone's considering buying this particular drive from Seagate. Okay. Uh, some basic specs. It doesn't really list much on the box even. Um, basically it's a uh, you know, typical USB 2.0 drive, 7200 RPM spindle speed. It comes pre-formatted on NTFS, so that means if you have a Mac, you're going to have to go right into Disk Utility in order to uh, start using it. So when you go into Disk Utility, uh, you want to click on the drive, hit Partition, um, and then choose either HFS Plus, which I recommend, or uh, FAT32. Because out of the box, it's not going to do anything. It's just you can read from it. You can't write from it. That's not very useful at all. Okay, so this is the box. Okay, this is the drive. And there are some unusual design choices that they've done with this that I don't like, and that's why it's going back to the store. Um, aesthetically speaking, it's a very pretty unit. You know, it's, it's a nice unit. It's yeah, and it does the job. I mean, right now I'm just kind of holding some temporary files on this before I have to send it back, and it's pretty fast. It's like an, any normal USB drive you may have worked with. But one thing you'll notice about this unit is that there's no on-off switch, and that's kind of really the deal breaker for me. So the way that this uh, works in practice, you have the uh, power plug on the left and you have the USB on the right and the USB is a mini USB cable basically to do my data transfers what I did is uh, I took the uh, USB cable from my uh, digital camera and then you know that's a, that's just a it's a mini it's a mini USB plug so I, I just use my camera's cable because I didn't want to rip open the packaging since it's going back so anyway so that's just unusual in that it's using the mini plug this this plug here and uh, unlike my uh, how it is on my external case and this is a really good case you see that that's the USB plug that white thing that white port that's typical that's what's usually found on normal USB drives but on this one they decided to go with the mini USB which is kind of weird <coughs> So that's one that's one uh, one thing that kind of put me off is the actual use of the mini USB plug. Second thing is that there is no power button as I mentioned. You so what it does is that you plug it in, it senses the USB connection, and then it just shows up on your desktop. And um, in OS 10, well, I'll show you how it turns off in OS 10, and that's kind of weird too. Um, okay. And the third thing I don't like about this is the base. The base isn't detachable because that's the power supply and the data connection running straight into the drive. This is not a detachable base and that's really, that's kind of the deal breaker for me also. I don't like that. They should have designed it differently. I mean you compare that in contrast to this. This is just the uh, ACOM data and this thing is nuts. This thing's rugged. And this is my uh, you know, it's a combo of uh, FireWire 400 and USB 2.0. Okay, so that's just that. And the uh, power connector for this drive also, not the best power connector either. It's not even a three-prong power connector. It's really cheap. And then you look at the end plug here, and this is it. And once again, comparing that to my uh, nice ACOM data, this thing is a, you know, it's more of a ballsy AC adapter. It's at least three prong on that side. And the uh, actual plug that goes in, you know, it's got that. 
So the actual connection, it, it feels more solid on this external case, which I bought myself from CompUSA. But this was really worth the investment here. Okay. So I'm just going to boot up into OS X and show you how it looks on the desktop and how it appears in disk utility and actual operation. All right. All right. So here we are back in Mac OS X and uh, I'm going to show the uh, actual procedure of uh, hooking up and powering on the uh, Seagate uh, free agent USB 2 external drive to a Mac. Okay. So <clears throat> it's kind of interesting because what I have going now is um, on my ACOM data right here. It's on, it's spinning. And it shows up as a Firewire device right there, storage. Okay. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, there is no on-off switch on the uh, free agent. So this is how you turn it on. And take the uh, USB, the uh, USB cable. You know, plug it in on the side of my Mac. Okay. And over here, now you notice that this orange bar starts glowing and illuminating okay. and now it shows up on my desktop as a USB drive okay and I'm gonna go into disk utility try that again I'm gonna go into disk utility hit command shift U okay. and here you can go. So the drive that I put in my ACOM data in this Firewire storage case is uh, it's actually a Mac store and it's a real Mac store meaning before Seagate bought out Mac store. So it's a Maxter drive, it's uh, 7200 RPM, 250 gigabytes and it's uh, 60 megs of cache in it. So I got a pretty good drive in my external case right there. Okay. And here on the free agent, this is just, um, and I've formatted it as OS 10 extended. Okay, it's already got my files on there. So there's your uh, capacities if you decide to format in OS 10. So 499-973-603, you know, you can see it. There's the actual use capacity and available capacity. Okay, because what I did is I, uh, backed up and copied the files actually from this drive over to this drive because as you can see this drive firewire drive if I do a get info on it right now it's in uh, FAT32 because I formatted it just that way when I got it so now I just moved all the files off from this from uh, from the firewire to the USB drive and I'm uh, gonna reformat this thing into a HFS plus okay. and uh, yeah so that's just a quick overview of the free agent oh and one thing you should note ejecting it does not automatically power off the drive I'm going to do that right now so I'm going to eject the drive okay so the drives ejected but it's still glowing which means that the power is still on and that kind of throws me off. So, yeah. It's weird. I don't know why they did it like that. You would think ejecting it would just turn it off, but it doesn't. So that's how that goes on the uh, free agent drive. The little quick review of it. And it's going to go back to the store. So that's just it for now. And I'll come back in a couple of days, maybe a day or two. And I'll show you some awesome stuff on the MacBook. Alright, have a good day. Peace.